Welcome to another MP4Nation.com player and review. Uh, today we have the Meizu M6 SL version. Uh, many of you heard about this player. It's very similar to the SP version, except it's noticeably thinner, uh, slightly more light. Uh, it has some differences in the back is no longer a stainless steel finish, it's a brushed steel finish, uh, which I think actually looks better and it's uh, less, it's more resistant to fingerprints and scratches. So, uh, just do, this is a SP version, so as you can see, the notable size differences. Uh, also, the back. And the screen is slightly larger on the SL version, but it's almost negligible. The SL has a 2.41 inch screen, while the SP version has a 2.4 inch screen. The version's form factor is slightly smaller than that of the SPs. So, just, oh yeah, and they also removed the power button from up here. The power button is now the play pause button, uh, much like on the M3. Turn it on. Uh, they made slight improvements to the user interface, I thought anyway. Uh, it still takes the same time to load. Uh, the SL version does use a Wolfenson audio chip, like the, like many new MP3, uh, MP3, MP4 players out there. Uh, it also uses a Samsung ARM processor. So, zoom in a little, show you the. As you can see, they made the font larger on the SL version's UI, and also how you and whenever you go over one of the choices, the font increases in size. Also, when you slide up and down, it, it doesn't just stop on the thing; it, it it goes with how much force you use. You can see, I think it's pretty slick. It's a lot. It, it's I think it's nicer than the SP versions. Uh, the audio is good. The video quality is. Just it's pretty much it's uh, the video quality is the same, seeing how they use the same processor and such. So, and it's the same promotional video. So there's no notable difference in video playback, but the audio is supposed to be better as you use the Wolfenson chip. But personally, when I tried it, I couldn't really tell the difference between the SP or SL. Which is not to say, I mean, it has fantastic audio still, regardless, but, uh, and really everything's the same as the SP, so this review is actually going to be pretty short. It has all the other standard features that, uh, your FM tuner, you can sort by, uh, by artists and play, you can make playlists on this. Uh, most of you already know this, because Meizu's, uh, you know, pretty much ripped the Apple <laughs> user interface. Um, there you have it. Oh, and there is absolutely no TV out for the <laughs> SL version. Uh, the battery life will give you 26 hours. That's what it's rated for for audio and about four to five hours for video. Uh, there you go. And this is the English version. As you can see, there's the English writing and not Chinese. Uh, and uh, also there's less accessories right now when you buy this. Uh, you don't get the case, the leather case that comes with the SP version. Uh, just a note on pricing, uh, the pricing is going to be very similar to that of the uh, SP version. It's not going to be much more expensive. I mean really you're only playing, paying for a thinner body. Uh, that's in my book. So if you're seeing other sites that are charging you for like 180 without even the shipping for like the 8 GB version, uh, you're getting ripped off. <laughs> um, currently, we have the 4 GB and 8 GB in white, and only 4 GB in black uh, of that major SL. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we will be running another competition and giving uh, probably this one away to one lucky user on our forum. Uh, visit mp4nation.com for more details. Uh, join in our forums, uh, one of the growing forums for MP4 players out there. And this is the Meizu SL. Thank you.